So hello everybody, it is Power Week. It means that the Power Bay team has released a new Power Bay desktop update. This time it is December 2019. Yes. So I did a review of other features yesterday. Go check the video out. Today we're going to talk about JSON, JSON themes. I'm going to tell you what that is and what the news are. And uh, here's the thing. Um, this is a good thing. This is a really good thing if you just want to change a few things on current themes. But if you want to create your own theme, this might not be the update for you. And for that, I have a resource at the end of the video. So let's review this first and then I'll, um, I'll create something that hopefully will help you do this better. First things first, If what is a JSON theme? A JSON theme is basically a file in a JSON format that allows you to customize Power BI the way you want it. So here you have for an example of how a JSON theme looks. So you have properties through visuals. This is the properties for the slicer visual, for the page visual, and the documentation for this is not very good. That's why I created my own resource. So you have to know what these things are called in Power BI and in JSON to be able to change them. It was a pain. It is a pain. So the Power BI team decided, okay, we need to do something about it, obviously, and they created a editor. So let's go and check that out. So if we go here to File, Options and Settings and Options, again, you have to have December update, and then you've got to go to Report Set, no, to Preview Settings and here, Customize Current Team, you have to tick that. One thing I forgot to tell you, on yesterday's update, my computer crashes all the time. I get blue screens that wiped out all the configuration for Power BI with the new ribbon is kept, which is awesome. Awesome. So now I can crash everything. I don't need to reset everything. Thank you. Okay, back to JSON theme. So you click that in and then once you tick that in, there will be new options here on the view themes. You can, here are themes that Microsoft created for you. You can just grab them, click on them, and then everything will change. Here you have the possibility to browse to the theme that somebody else has done for you if you've done. Theme gallery, you can go to uh, Power BI community and grab themes that somebody else has done for you. And then you can customize current theme. That I guess this is the big improvement for themes. Then you can, if you get a file from somebody that you say, hmm, that is a good one, then you can export the theme that is there before you have to unzip the Power BI file to get it. Not anymore. You can just go here and it will just extract the JSON file so you can use it. I'm a bit disappointed about this feature because I thought that I would be able to download the JSON file, the complete JSON file. I've been asking for that for forever and never got it. And this doesn't do it. So it just downloads the file with the properties that somebody else set. And you cannot download the Microsoft JSON file. But you can get mine. We'll talk about it at the end. Anyhow. And here is some how to create a theme. If you go in here, uh, it, it is it is tough work. Um, here, they try to explain how to build the JSON file. This is just not, it's not easy. The documentation is not clear at all. And I don't understand why, to be honest, but it's just not. So if we go here, themes, and say, we want this theme, we like what we see, but with, do you see that all the titles are in gray and say, no, not gray, I want to have them blue, for example. So you go here, customize current theme. And then here you have the possibility to change the name. This is the name, not the name of the Power BI file. This is the name of the theme. So every theme has its name. You change the name here. You, this could be like a uh, theme for finance or colors for marketing or whatever you want. So here you change the name. Here you have the possibility to change the first eight colors. Now, what happens after eight? For what I could see before, but now I don't see it anymore because I, I put 20 colors. But after the color eight, it will go back to default colors. So I prefer to do it in JSON and put many colors so I know how everything would look when there are more than eight categories. 
Then you ha have the possibility to put the sentiment colors, and then you have like these buttons here that it says, for example, this is for the KPI and the water chart. And divergent colors, this is uh, for conditional formatting, okay? Then you have advanced colors, and this is where things start to get hairy. This says, okay, we have different elements in your visuals, like axis, grid lines, text box, font text box font. What's in each category? And uh, th this is stuff. But this is basically what they use to be able to do this. They have like text classes that overrides everything. So the idea is good, but here's the thing, foreground. How are you going to get in your mind what that is changing? For me, that is not possible, my mind <laughs> doesn't absorb that. So foreground, neutral, secondary changes all of that. Button, icon, line, color. So you have to think it's a button. You know what I mean, right? So I prefer to set them on their specific um, property, right? So, but, but that is my preference. Then I know what I am formatting with this. I'm, I'm just going blind. I have no idea what I'm formatting at all. And in that case, I recommend you to leave it as is, and so you get the, like, the basic. So for text, here we have general title, cards, and KPS. This is where we can change the title. And here it says text formatting can be customized in reports built before September 2019. Why? Because in September 2019, that's where they launched these new text classes and color classes. So the old themes do not have that property and therefore you cannot change it. So obviously, so you need to have those properties set. So you may think, oh, so what? For my old reports, I can do nothing that? No, you can't. You have two options. Either you go in here and you say, I'm going to pick this one. That is a new one. And then when you go back to themes and customize current theme, you're going to see that now it works because the new, it doesn't. Did I set it? I, I maybe didn't set it. Let's see. Uh, customize current theme. I know. I did it before it worked. Hmm, let's do the default. That looks better. Customize current theme. Okay, so now some of the themes have, some of the themes do not have. That's, that was weird. Anyhow, if you use the, the default theme, you will be able to change it and you can change everything else. So here you have the possibility to go, I want my title to be blue. I didn't select anything. How about we make it blue? Apply and save. And now all titles will be like that. Okay. And then you can um, select the text, the font size, the font type. You can uh, change quite many things. Uh, actually, it is neat. You can customize for course and KPAs. You, you have the possibility for all visuals to change. For example, I want to have a border. Don't do that one. <laughs> you can't have a border. Uh, page, to have a wallpaper, page background. I mean, you can do that already in... But anyhow, filter pane is this one. This filter pane. So these are the things available for the filter pane. So this is when you for the available filter cards that have not been selected, and this is for the selected. So when somebody has filter or something, you change the color. So here's where you set the colors for that. So this, um, if you just want to have default themes and do small changes, fantastic. This will do, definitely. And I'm sure that they are going to continue building on it, um, hopefully. So thumbs up. If you're like me and want to have control over the theme file and you want to be precise as to what gets changed and how it gets changed. For example, I just want to have borders on KPIs, on, on cards, nothing else, and, and KPIs maybe. So for that, 
I personally needed two things. The first one was a complete JSON file and then documentation, proper documentation. And I did a while back a video about, you know, I just scrabbled the information from, from the website uh, and uh, tried to put some order in it, but I've never checked it. It was just a little bit of a mess, but somewhat useful. I've cleaned all that up. So I have now a complete JSON file and I have a Power BI file that documents every single property on the common visuals, the IE visuals, I haven't found anything, but the normal visuals in Power BI. I have like 98% of all the properties. There were some that I couldn't guess. You have to guess them. I couldn't guess them. So as soon as I guess them, I will update. And uh, I have made that available on my web shop. So after this video, there's going to come in a new video. And on that video, you will be able to see what those two resources are. And if you're interested, you can go and get them. Okay. So this is over today. This is over today. So this is great. If you just want to make small modifications, great job. Hopefully they will continue building on this. They have to because it's just not enough. But anyhow, it is a great update. And I, I wouldn't, I didn't expect that there was going to be a December update. So it is great that it's actually here. So I hope that uh, everybody has a great vacation now and a good rest because 2020 starts very, very, very soon, very soon. Okay, I'm going to stop talking. Um, tomorrow is going to be a DAX Riders video, but it's not going to be a quarter video. You know, they released this monthly quarter function. I don't think we need to review that. So we're going to continue with the currency conversion that we did last Friday. And uh, that's what we will talk about instead. And ho hopefully in another video, when it's time, I will review quarter. Merry Christmas, everybody. I am going to Spain tomorrow. Don't worry, I have videos scheduled for you for the entire holiday if you want to. If you want to continue seeing Power BI Quirval videos, you'll have them the entire holiday. Okay, so even if I am resting, you don't have to rest. <laughs> okay. No, seriously, have a great vacation. Happy New Year. And I'll see you again tomorrow with the new Dax Fridays. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.